Okay, so I wouldn't consider myself a sneakerhead by any means, but I will say I'm a basketball shoe connoisseur. By that I mean I care about my basketball shoes because as a pro basketball player, your shoes are basically your tools. In the same way a construction worker cares about his hammers, screwdrivers, buzz saws, all that stuff, I need to care about my shoes because they directly affect my performance. So for today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a basketball sneaker rotation of a current pro hooper. And basically, I'm gonna rate each shoe on three categories. Comfort, feel, and look, and then give an overall rating out of 10. Hopefully this helps you guys make your decision on the next hoop shoes you buy. So anyways, let's get straight to it. For the first shoe, I have the Kobe 4 Year of Mambas. This all black colorway is sick. So in terms of comfort, the Kobe 4s have always been incredible. They're super flexible. I don't really like doing this with my shoes, but like you can see the bend is great. Ankle support is solid. I'm not a guy that likes really high tops or really like snug on my ankle. The platform's not very high, so you're really not gonna roll your ankle in these. They also have a very wide foot base. Comfort, I'd give this like a 9.2 out of 10. It's like, it's it's up there. Kobe 4s are potentially my, my goaded shoe of all time. Then in terms of feel, I swear they make you more athletic. Every time I wear them, I feel springy, bouncy, super reactive off the floor. And I don't know, it might be a mental thing, but I, big fan of these. The only thing is the squeak isn't great. The traction is good, but it, for some reason doesn't squeak a lot. I don't know, some people like that. Some people don't really care about it, but sometimes on dusty floors, they're a little slick. So feel, I'd give them like a 9.1 maybe. And then in terms of look, colorway, all black. Some people love all black. Some people hate all black. I like it. It kind of gives me that like black Air Force energy. This kind of looks classy with this kind of like suede part here. I'll probably rock these with, I, I'm thinking just like some black socks and that's really black for Air Force energy, but it's good to have some black shoes in your rotation. I don't know, big fan. So look, I'll give these like, again, 9.5. Overall, like I said, these might be my favorite shoes of all time. I know I'm starting off this basketball sneaker rotation, just all these are great shoes ever but these potentially might be i give these a 9.3 i can't give them a you know, a 10 because that they do have a couple flaws a another flaw i thought of is sometimes right here this kind of rubs raw for some reason with with how the shoe bends and it breaks down fast and these are an expensive shoe and you don't want expensive shoes breaking down so yeah 9.3 for the kobe 4 year of mamas these are big time so next up in the basketball sneaker rotation, we have the Kobe 6 Reverse Grinches. Sort of a hype beast shoe. Everybody's wearing Grinches and Reverse Grinches nowadays, but it makes sense. The colorway is beautiful and everybody likes flashy shoes these days. So for me, these are a good complement to the um, Kobe 4 Year Mambas, chill and now loud. To break them down, in terms of comfort, I really like them. I mean, the tongue, when you lace them tight, really locks and make, keeps your foot nice and snug. Let's break down the myth. Higher ankle support does not mean less ankle rolls. It's all about the platform and falling off the platform is how you roll your ankle. This platform is pretty low and also the insole, it really wraps around your foot. So don't really have a problem rolling ankles. Honestly, in terms of comfort, I give these like a 9.2 great feeling and fitting shoe. In terms of feel, there's a couple issues for me. This tread on the inside, I kind of like really push off internally on cuts and stuff. It breaks down really fast as well as this. I mean, I've worn these shoes probably, you know, I've had these shoes for about three months and this breaking really frustrates me. I'll probably have to glue it. And it's just like, that shouldn't happen on this expensive and this nice of a shoe, but it did. And the thing is, I know for a fact these are real. I've gotten scammed before. I've worn fake coat sixes the real ones feel significantly different but this shouldn't break i mean also these shoes feel really good when you wear them like you feel springy you feel quick they're not heavy they're very light so there's a lot of good things but there's just some structural things that are kind of breaking down so i give these like a 7.6 out of 10 and if you're going to spend big money on them you don't want them to break and then in terms of look these for me are like a 9.8 i mean the red fits the benfica red nice compliment and the laces i think it's cool i like the little christmas grinch idea i don't know an iconic shoe with an iconic iconic silhouette. I remember I had a pair of Kobe sixes. I bought them in high school for 50 bucks at a Ross. They were the purple camos. I looked on StockX and they were something like 1500 bucks now. And it made me sick because I remember I wore those mowing the lawn. So that shows my age a little bit, but like I said, these Kobe sixes have been around for a long time and there's a reason for overall great shoe structurally breaks down a little bit. I give it like an 8.7. Definitely still happy with my purchase. And these are great in the sneaker rotation. For shoe number three in the basketball sneaker rotation, we have the KD 
emotional pathways. You can tell these shoes are absolutely beat. All sorts of breakdown on these. I've worn these to the ground. I've worn these probably about five months just every day. These have been my practice beater shoes. And I think it's because they're so comfortable. So to get right into it, I mean, the comfort is incredible. It's a very wide shoe. It took a little bit for them to break in because they are very stiff shoe especially across the middle here not a lot of give i don't love these for guards i think they're a really good big man shoe obviously i really like them i've worn them a lot very good support in terms of comfort i'd give these probably like a 8.6 they're just kind of like feel like workhorse shoes that you can put a lot of mileage on i mean you can see the tread hasn't broken down either high quality and then in terms of feel these are a little heavy and like i said before it took a while to break them in the platform is actually pretty high but the 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 four foot base is wide so i've actually rolled my ankle in these one time just because the platform's high and i kind of like stepped on someone's foot obviously so it's not necessarily all the shoe but it, it's still it was in these so that's kind of a memory i have of them but yeah for feel like i don't feel necessarily incredible in these like i'm gonna jump out the gym but they get the job done been in the rotation a long time i gotta give them their their credit feel i would say probably like a 7.3 and then in terms of look this colorway is honestly pretty mid to me and especially because our rivals are blue can't really wear these it's like a big old thing in portugal to not wear the other team's color shoe i don't know the blue's okay don't love this colorway but i do have two other pairs of kd16s a simple black pair of kd16 boardrooms they're more chill kind of like the kobe four year of mambas that's a cooler colorway and they also have the kd16 all-star which is a little brighter i like that colorway it's it's more pop the cool thing about kd's is there's a lot of different colorways so you can really find the one that you like the look but for these actual emotional pathways i'd give this like a 6.8 but you can find cooler colorways so sometimes it could go up as much as like probably an 8.5 for the all-stars for me overall for these i'd probably give it about a 7.4 great for workout shoes getting in a lot of mileage and just beating them to the ground but for games i wouldn't say necessarily my favorite even though these I, you know i've played probably more than 10 games in these kd16 emotional pathways solid shoe but not necessarily my favorite doesn't compare to the kobe's for the fourth shoe in the in my basketball sneaker rotation we have the harden 7 i think they're called space orbits this shoe is funky right they introduce this kind of like sock like tongue thing some people really like it i like it because it doesn't really dig into my ankles or much but weird feeling it, it did kind of like feel like a sock it kind of like locked down my foot but i don't know i'm still kind of up in the air on it so for, in terms of comfort i this part is nice right it's snug it feels very natural it's not a lot of restriction but and i'm not the only one there's something going on with this hardened seven something near like the ball of your foot in the shoe kind of around here because your pinky toe rubs like your baby toe it rubs and it gave me the nastiest blister after my first wear and of course the shoe wasn't broken in so I was like okay it's got to be that let the blister heal waited two weeks tried it again same thing in the exact same spot and it wasn't just me it was also my teammate and it was like not just a little blister it was like that thing was bleeding and so there's something going on some sort of performance malfunction in there so in terms of comfort I got to give these like a 5.8 only reason they're not lower is that I sort of kind of like the sock and then in terms of feel these grip really well I felt really really comfortable cutting moving in them but the thing is they're still like a heavy shoe and also it feels like you kind of got like this big heel thing on and so they didn't feel great like they haven't felt good enough for me to even try them in a game so in terms of feel i'd also give it like maybe like a 4.8 very heavy shoe felt good cutting in but i didn't feel dynamic or explode and then in terms of look i'm not a big fan this colorway sucks if i'm gonna be honest the gray is just lame it's just pretty mid there are some cool colorways if you get like the yellow or the pink or the loud colorways but again it looks like sort of like a triangle on your foot. Some people really like these Hardens. I don't. I actually really don't like them. Regret this purchase, but I've worn them a couple times the last week or two, and they're starting to feel a little better. So I'm, you know, all hope isn't lost. I'm gonna give these like a like a 4.7, very average shoe. I'm still gonna try the Harden 8s just to see if maybe they've made some improvements, but these for me are not the ones. All right, and for the final shoe of my sneaker rotation, we have the Jaw 1 All-Stars. 
So let me just put this out there first. These are probably my surprise sneaker, maybe of the year. I didn't think these were gonna be that good of shoe. And also with all the controversy around John Morant, I was like, how can he have literally what I think is the best shoe out right now? So him aside, I'm a big fan of these shoes. Like, this colorway is pretty cool, but I don't know. Some people don't like it. Someone said that they look like crayons, but I like it a lot. So for comfort, I would say these are very, very comfortable. They feel almost like the Kobe 4s, just a little more low top. Also pretty flexible. I, I feel Feel really good cutting in them the lacing system locks your foot in it, it's just a well-made shoe just an overall well well-made shoe so in terms of comfort i'd give this like a probably like an 8.8 .8. really high quality big fan now in terms of feel not super light but not super heavy super supportive i felt able to cut well feel very springy in them i probably worn these in the last eight games or so which is surprising because i got the kobe sixes expecting those to be my game shoe and the jaw ones they beat them out i just feel solid in them and, and i felt like i can really like plant cut it's a great shoe well made feel i'd give these probably like a 8.9 and then in terms of look don't like the look as much as a kobe but it looks like a Kobe. This colorway is decent. I, I got it because the red and Benfica. For look, I'd give this like an 8.5. Four. It's solid. It's better than most shoes out right now. I'm not a big fan of a lot of the shoes out right now. So I'm going to give this one an overall of an 8.6. Honestly, great shoe. Surprise sneaker of the year. These have been my, my go-tos lately. And so probably didn't expect that, but I didn't either. So last shoe of the sneaker rotation. All right, that was more or less my current basketball sneaker rotation as a pro hooper. We have three months left in the season. We have a couple more regular season games and a playoff push. So we're getting towards the end of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and maybe this will help you make your next sneaker purchase. If you made it this far and you've liked the video, comment what type of videos you wanna keep seeing on this channel as well as being subscribed. And I will do a sneaker giveaway. One of these two pairs, either LeBron 20 Grinches or the What The KD 15s. If you have a European address, we will problem solve and I'll find a way to ship these to you. It will probably be expensive, but I'm willing to do it. You guys have been supporting me like no other. So yeah, if you made it this far, Make sure to do those three things and you have a chance to win a pair of these LeBron 20 Grinches or KD 15 what does. I will sign, send them to you. And yeah, hopefully you guys liked the video. And as always, live atypical.